Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another weekly reading, um, but really the last weekly reading for the month of June, um, as today is June 30th. So we are definitely um, just about halfway through this year, which is just so crazy. I don't think I'll ever get over how fast this year has gone. Um, there's so much going on too both at the external level and internal level, I feel. I feel like a lot of us are going through major, major, major transformational shifts and changes. I feel like a lot of us are um, leveling up both mentally, physically, and even spiritually. I feel like a lot, a lot of people are becoming more open to um, their spirituality and open to you know, divination and open to receiving guidance from the universe, you know, and not just from what they think is right. And you being, you know, Pisces and being so intuitive and, you know, quite literally the high priestess, um, I think you can understand that. I think you can understand and I think you can see how other people that maybe used to be a little bit more skeptic or a little bit more, um, just not as you know into something like spirituality i feel like you can start to see that you, you you can start to see this in in people that you know um or people that you're close to i feel like you can start you can start to see those changes where you're like hmm i'm surprised but at the same time it's about time you know that that this person realizes that there's more to the universe or there's more to their life than what they know and what they just see every day um well, anyway, that was a longer spiel than I intended. All right, let's just see what the universe has for you. Okay, so you are definitely showing up in your reading and you're in a position of i want to say power i feel like hmm there's something here though that i okay hold on let me just pull all the cards before i start yapping hmm wow okay so we have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck um, so, honestly, I feel like you are going to make a decision. Um, you're kind of, that's, you know the saying, in between a rock and a hard place? I feel like that's where you're at right now. I feel like you're stuck between one thing and another. Um, this could be job related. This could be relationship related. I mean, it does look relationship related. We got an extra card actually, and it was the Ace of Cups. So, I do feel that this could be about an opportunity that you're receiving um, I get the feeling that this is someone that you've met recently, someone new, or someone that, you know, you haven't really been with for that long, but I do feel that there's some sort of decision here that you're going to make, but before you make it, I feel you having to really kind of balance a few things, so let's just look at your cards. So we have the Two of Pentacles, the Strength, the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, which here is you showing up in your reading because I um, read the Queen of Cups as either, as really any water sign, but if I'm doing a water sign reading and the Queen of Cups appears, I feel like this is you in this position of wanting to give um, love and be in an abundance of love. Um, the Empress, I also feel like this is you. The Eight of Swords, the Hanged One, which could also be you and the four of pentacles so i do feel like you have definitely varying emotions and you have you're in, in you're in a few different places in your own mind about this situation um so the last card was the ace of cups this was the extra card that we got and to me this is kind of like what this whole situation is about is about this new love offer this new relationship this new situation this new connection with the Two of Pentacles and the Strength card, I feel like this is not going to be an easy, an easy decision. For whatever reason, this decision is going to cause, is going to, um, 
not cause you, but like force you to be brave. I'm using the word force because I feel like there is no other way to describe how you have to approach this decision just because of the fact that it doesn't seem easy. Whatever you're stuck between, it's not something that you can just, you know, make a decision right away. It's not something that you could just, you know, think about for a little bit and then all of a sudden you're good to go. I feel like you really have to think about this. You really have to put all of the factors and lay them out on the table and really look at each individual thing. I feel like there's just something here that is kind of complicated. Um, with the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, I do feel though that this is something new that you are really, really interested in giving your time and, and energy into. I feel like this person that you're dealing with is someone that um, kind of makes you feel a lot differently than you expected and a lot differently than anyone else has made you feel, as cliche as that sounds. You know, there's always that one person that we meet and we expect that they're going to make us feel the way that everyone else felt. But I feel like this person is different. I feel like this person is special. But maybe they come with their own, you know, their own set of of challenges, their own obstacles. They, they It's like they're refreshing and you want to give to them but at the same time there's a challenge here with this person that you are trying to you know avoid being the reason why you can't be with them does that make sense like there's just something here that you're trying to you know you're, you're not trying to focus on it too much because you know that if you focus on it a lot it might be the thing that breaks this apart with the hanged one and the four of pentacles, I do feel like you're, this is to me, the hanged one is that confirmation of feeling stuck between, you know, these two decisions. And I feel like with the four of pentacles um, and the hanged one, I feel like you're really, really, really taking your time before you make any radical or harsh decision. I feel like this person might be asking you, you know, questions that, come from a place of curiosity like they might ask you do you see this going anywhere is this you know do you think this is going to work you know they might be prying for information trying to pick your brain to see how you feel about them but you don't want to say too much because you're trying to make sure that you assess the situation really well before you say anything because when you say something out loud to someone especially when it's about your feelings you know that you can't take it back and you know that there's going to be a reaction and you don't want that to kind of change the sequence of events just because you want you just because you felt like you had to say something right then and there. So I feel like you're really taking your time. You're really holding on to your words. You're really holding on to your energy and and really just staying in place before you say anything to this person. With the 8 of swords and the empress, I feel like this person is they might be afraid of your decision. I feel like this person is, is trying to not think about it, but they can't help but think about it. Um, I feel like they're stressing over it. I feel like they're, you know, having maybe some anxiety about it. I feel like they see you as the empress. They see you as this person that they are willing to fight for. They're willing to wait as long as it takes because they find you so beautiful or, you know, handsome, if you know, or whatever. They just, they find you so attractive. They find you so illuminating you know like they just they're everything that they've wanted but because of how you're trying to approach the situation they feel this eight of swords energy they feel like they're boxed in like they can't see what's going on they're just you know they're confused and they're and they're frustrated and they might be expressing this to you and i feel like there's an abundance of pure love and good intentions here but there's still that very difficult decision that you have to make and, and you're just trying to figure out how to do that so let's clarify the two of pentacles. So with the two of pentacles, we got two cards. We got the knight of wands and the death. To me, this is these are the two decisions. And it's so crazy to me that when I ask for the two of pentacles, I actually get two cards and they happen to signify very two different things. The death card is about an ending you know it's it's the death of something it's the ending and of a cycle of a situation something coming to a complete stop and the the knight of wands 
is about going full force, full speed ahead towards something that you really, really want. So you're quite literally making the choice between stopping this, putting it to an end, and just going for it. So that's wild. Let's clarify the Page of Pentacles. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups, which to me is confirmation that this is definitely about a relationship. And with the Page of Pentacles, we have the Chariot. Um, to me, this says that the person that you're dealing with is like ready to go. They are ready to go full speed ahead. They are determined to make this work. Um, definitely, I can say for 100% fact that the ball is in your court, Pisces. You're the one that has to make this decision here because this person is all in. They are on this chariot. They are ready to go. They're like waiting to hit the gas pedal. They're like, come on, I'm, I'm like, I'm here. I'm ready to go. And, you know, there's this opportunity here presented to you and you're the one that has to decide whether or not they actually will go forward with you or not. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Again, I feel like this person is really, really thinking about... I feel like they're overthinking their actions now. I feel like because of the way that you're approaching this, they're, they're overthinking how they talk to you, how they act around you. They're overthinking everything that they say and do. Like literally, they are just, you know, thinking... After they have an interaction with you, they're thinking, did I say the right thing? Did I do the right thing? Was that a mistake? You know, they're thinking about all of these you know, interactions and all of these opportunities that they had or could have had and thinking, how could this have been done differently? Did I mess up? They're just all up in their head about you, Pisces. Um, let's clarify the Queen of Cups. Okay, so with the Queen of Cups, we got the Five of Swords. Okay, so I think this is kind of explaining that inner conflict that you feel. You're conflicted between wanting to give this person love and wanting to put this to an end or not wanting to go through it. To me, this Five of Swords is definitely a inner conflict. I feel like you're truly, truly stuck between going for it and not going for it. The reason why you wouldn't go for it is what I don't know just yet. That's the part that is a mystery right now. Um, and I may or may not do a bonus reading just without even without even knowing how this video does. I feel like I have to do a bonus reading for this particular reading, like a part two, because we still don't know, or I still don't know, I should say, you know, you know exactly what this is about, but I don't know why it is that you're stuck between these two, because this person is ready to go. So what is what is the issue here? Like, I'm actually genuinely curious um, but I'm starting to think that because the King of Pentacles here is at the top of the deck, I'm starting to think that maybe this isn't so much about the person themselves, but maybe what they have to offer. Maybe you feel like they don't have enough to offer you. And it's like, even though you you want to give love to this person, even though this person is is determined to be with you, maybe they don't have something that you need to really feel like this could work in the long run. Maybe they don't have their career yet. Maybe they don't have you know, stable finances. Maybe they don't have, there's something that, that they're missing that you feel you need in a relationship in order to be completely happy and for this to work. All right, Pisces, if that resonated, please hit the like. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.